a bunch of them pulled out the racks and I fucking went to the wrong exit. Shit! Hold on. What's good, my peoples? As you noticed, I uh, shaved the stubbles. It was getting a little too uh, hard to maintain and uh, tangled and whatever, so it had to go. Today's Wednesday. May the 2nd, May the 2nd be with you. What are we doing? We're going to Ross. We're going out uh, hunting. We're going sourcing, as they say in the reselling biz. Join me, won't you? While I have you here, let, let's, let me tell you about last night, okay? Last night, after work, I, I went to Ross. I was just looking around, just looking at the shoes or whatever, and then I hear somebody talk in my direction. It's like, oh, you're being like something. Some, I, I don't remember the exact words. It was like, like, oh, you find any good finds lately? And I'm just like, uh, are you, you talking to me, right? And I'm, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I found some good stuff. We, we started this little dialogue, and and, and he notices me. He uh, he recognizes me as a reseller. I guess we can spot each other out or something. Probably by uh, having a, a, a shoe in one hand and a phone in the other and going back and forth. That's like the dead giveaway of a reseller. You're looking on eBay and stuff, so. That's what the guy said. He, he noticed me before. He noticed my Supreme jacket right off the bat. It, I, I was a dead giveaway. So he was a nice dude. Uh, we chatted it up for uh, you know maybe 10, 15 minutes, just talking about uh, what scores we found, our biggest find, and whatever. And you know we're just we're both we're both working, but this is sort of like a side hustle and whatnot. And so yeah, I I, I met my first. Uh, legit reseller he's we're just giving each other like pointers and stuff and tips and tricks and whatever and he tells me that hustler hacks might be coming to san diego so i was like oh that's pretty cool maybe we can you know meet up and stuff that was pretty interesting exchanged phone numbers he said like you know if he ever finds something at one store he'll text me like hey maybe it's a good time to go out and check out the others so uh Hopefully we'll be helping each other out man. I'm sorry if you're watching this my friend I, I'm not good at names Remembering it right off the bat. I apologize. I do that with everybody. It's no I mean no disrespect I just don't have the greatest of memory. It has to be repetitive. I have to repeatedly See you meet you say your name in order To get your name down trust me it, This is how it is what I, I work. It took me three to four months to get people's names right and they have their fucking name tag on so you know like i said i just met you and you know this is crazy i gave you my number so let's source maybe <laughs> anyway so i might have made a friend we might start some sort of you know duo business who knows it's still early in the game just wanted to let you guys know that so we're heading north last night i went i, I head south and I should go south because most of those stores were restocking, like a bunch of them pulled out the racks and I fucking went to the wrong exit. Shit! Hold on. Okay, so I missed the exit for the first Ross store, but this one, this, this route is taking me to the second Ross store, so we, rather than turning around and wasting some time, I might as well go to this one first then go back <laughs> so yeah there's that anyways as i was saying dang that the other raw store is actually the better one it's it's actually a good first store for me uh mainly because there's a post office like next to it so that's what i've been doing like when i go raw shopping and i have to ship is i just go there this is the first uh that's the first ross on the route of the north and it has a post office next to it, which is like perfect. So I, I ship off my stuff. Then I go to Ross to find more stuff. I'll show you it when we get there. First, let's go to this one. Okay, that Ross was kind of a bust. But it's next to a Toys R Us, which is closing down. Sadly. <laughs> this Rosh here usually does me well, but that's where I found the Fat Tire 2s. Two of them for $35.99 and the Adidas 
uh, no Gallagher specials, $49.99. And I sold all of those already, so that's cool. On to the next Ross. Okay, trip to Ross number two complete. This is the probably the best Ross location in my area, mainly because there is a post office just right over yonder. Yeah, but there's a post office right over there, just across the street. There's a Supercuts and a Starbucks. Perfect location, there's even a Target over there. But uh, truth be told, I didn't think I was gonna find anything in this Ross, mainly because I had a bad uh, premonition when I walked in the post office. I just went to drop my uh, box that I just uh, sold to this morning. Right at the drop area, there was a whole bunch of boxes and a, a lot of those boxes had this eBay tape on it. So that was a bad sign for me thinking, oh freak, those guys probably went to this Ross and cleared it out. Which was kind of true, but I did, I did find one thing. Tank top. Adidas Pharrell collaboration, $12.99. Uh, normally 50 bucks 55 actually size small unfortunately so I, I don't have a backup plan like oh I could just keep it but it's like this astronaut tank top that was a little diamond in the rough it was like hidden within the athletic shirts and stuff so anyways on to Ross number three Ross number three bust this Ross probably is like, I would say the worst Ross out of all the Rosses that I've been to. Mainly because they have like the least amount of stock. I've been coming here for months and it's just been the same amount of stock. They probably have the smallest men's shoes racks. I think they only have a total of four racks, like total small racks. So maybe like a hundred pairs of shoes maximum. Or maybe less. I don't know. Even the, the, the clothing section, it's so sparse. Like, it, there's so much space in this Ross, but, like, so little stuff to sell. I don't know why. Maybe they just, like, they figured it doesn't get enough traffic or whatever. But, yeah, this Ross, it's not the very best Ross. And on top of that, their shoes are so high priced. They probably have the most highest priced shoes that I've seen out of all the Rosses. Like 80 bucks, $79.99 for a shoe. It's mainly those Jordan boots. However, last night I went to one of the Rosses near the border and the same Jordan boots are now $39.99. That's a big drop off. 40 bucks off unfortunately those don't really sell and i don't have the necessary boxes to sell big shoes so I, that's what I, i've been avoiding a lot of big shoes because i i just i don't have the shipping uh know-how yet i'm still learning but anyways on to ross number four Hey, what's up, party peeps? I'm um, sorry I stopped recording yesterday. It's actually the next day. And silly me, I need to get used to vlogging sort of thing and raw shopping because I tend to forget to pull out the camera sometimes when I'm out and about. And that's what I did after the last recording. I kind of just forgot about it and I started, you know, driving around, going to different Rosses trying to find some good stuff and uh <clears throat> unfortunately i kind of wrapped most of it all up um this is my workstation so far uh i got a lot of materials and stuff but let me just show you what i got yesterday um sorry they're all wrapped up already but Here's a pretty cool one. These are Nike Air Cortez. Um, these are called the Forrest Gumps. These are what Forrest Gump wore in the movie back in 1972. Even has the, you can't see it, but there's a metal, metal little thing on the shoelace in the front there that says Cortez 72. These are size 11.5. I got it for 49.99, 50 bucks. Um, Got these pretty cool ones. I'm not too sure if I showed these before. These are the Kyrie 
I'm gonna say two or three. Uh, um, they're some sort of summer pack or something. I forgot what it's called. Size seven. I got these for forty nine ninety five, forty five, forty nine ninety nine, as well. Um, they sell for a bit, little bit more than a hundred. Uh, Hyper Venoms, size thirteen. Uh, they're like plain black. These normally go for about fifty nine. These are pretty cool. <sighs> I can hardly even see anything. These are uh, by Puma. They're called Fenty by Rihanna High Trainers. They're size eleven point five. I got them for about forty nine ninety nine. Normally, they sell on eBay for about $89.90, give or take. I was thinking about keeping these, but uh, I don't think they look good on me, so I decided not to. Another Hyper Venom, but these are uh, with the little sock insert. The other one I just showed you previously doesn't have the little sock insert. This one does, so these ones are worth a lot more than the previous ones. These are size 9, 8.5, I believe. They go for about 120-ish or such. I found another pair. Stop, stop it. Prestos, Air Prestos, gray. Uh, these are size 12, 49.99. Normally go between 80 and 90. Once again, I was thinking about keeping it, but then I tried it on. I'm like, nah, not really for me. And the, the big score of shoes yesterday was these bad boys. These are Adidas Crazy something RK. These are weightlifting shoes. Uh, these were $19.99. On eBay, they're all listed for about $130, $140 and up. Only one sold, but not in this color. And that one was $145, I believe. So hopefully I can get at least 120, 130 out of these for my $20 investment. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, can't really see much, but they are Adidas and they are weightlifting shoes. Yeah, so that's uh, all. Pretty much all the finds that I got for the the week. I'm sorry it's not a proper uh, POW video, pick of the week video. Um, I'm just lazy for the most part. So now I gotta go ship. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.